Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about print on demand everything, including how to create unique designs using Canva. So if that is something that you're interested in, please do stick around. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to create this design right here. This is another really simple one. It's all silhouette style, which is actually really easy to work with. And this is a little bit of that fantasy football cross niching. Um, and there's lots of ways you can go with this. So if you would like to learn about this niche, this style, this design, go ahead and stick around. Okay. So we are on Canva's homepage. I'm going to go ahead and select a custom size. I will be uh, picking 4,500 by 5,400 pixels as usual. Um, I am going to be designing for a black shirt. So I'm just going to select my blank canvas, go up to the top left hand corner uh, and select black. Um, now this is going to be another fun fall niche um, and this one is going to be about sort of fantasy football and what we're going to do is create a, a cross niche between fantasy football and fantasy in general and so there's ways that you can do this using fantasy creatures you could use I've seen it with unicorns I've seen it with dragons I'm gonna go ahead and just go with some Bigfoot because I think that would be cool and so we're gonna do a Bigfoot fantasy football style design. I'm also going to do this design in an all silhouette style. So it's just going to be all white on black to keep it nice and simple. And so to start with, I'm just going to go ahead and put my text at the top. So I'm just going to hit T on my keyboard. I'm going to pull up a text box. Um, and so there's different ways that I've seen this. I've seen I suck at fantasy football. I've seen fantasy football champion, fantasy football uh, professional, lots of different ways you can go with this. Uh, I have done fantasy football champion, but it definitely goes into under review for a while just because of the word champion. So um, you can avoid that by using a different word. I suck at fantasy football is just another fun one that we can do. Um, so I'll just do that one. So here I'm just going to put I suck at and that will go up at the top here and it's just gonna go across the page there. And one more text box here. We're gonna go with fantasy football. There we go. And that's gonna have to shrink down a little bit. I'm gonna pull that straight across the page. So it's gonna go something like that and then my design uh, is gonna come down here. Now, lots of ways we could go with this. Um, I was going with more of a, um, a stencil sort of style font. And so the fonts that I came up with, the fonts that I came up with uh, for the top line, I just did a little search for stencil. And the one I went with was right at the top here, this Alerta stencil, and so it's pretty simple here and I pull that one across the page so it's nice and big and then for the bottom here what was something that was a little bit more narrow but I think I did a graduate font so again I can come up and search you can search narrow you can keep going with stencils I went with graduate which is just a nice sort of narrow font but it still gives that sort of football-y feel right I suck at fantasy football. By the way, I do suck at fantasy football. I don't know anything about it. So there we go. I suck at fantasy football. That's going to be the starting point. And I think I went ahead and just did a little bit of a line with some stars across it. Different ways I can do that. I mean, you can look at decorative lines. You can look at um, stars, whatever you want. Move lines. And so, eh, those are just some boring lines. Here's a little line with arrows, dotted lines. And of course you can always create your own lines, but sometimes it's easier if you find some just stacked lines. Let me put an S at the end of that. Decorative lines, let's say, um, striped lines. Let's see what that comes up with. Some different shades there. There we go, let's try border lines and see what happens here. Border lines usually has some cool decorative lines there. 
So for example, I can take this one, we can make it white. And so this is one border line where it's just got a thick line and a thin line. So just something that's a little bit decorative there. And there's lots of different variations of thick and thin lines, dotted lines. And so we are just looking for just some fun decorative ways that we can play with the design so it's not just super boring text. So you can always do some fun stuff there. Let's just go with star. And again, here's a nice simple star. I'm going to make it white. If we're doing anything that's on one side of the page, what I like to do is just get it the way I want it, and then I can just duplicate it to make sure that it's the same basic size. And so something like that looks pretty cool. I can just go ahead, click on it. If I hit Control D, that will duplicate it. And then I can just take that star right over to the other side of the page. And I can see if I can line those stars up just right. So right there looks pretty good. And it's going to tell me when they're nice and lined up. So, so far, so good. I suck at fantasy football. Now I'm going to go ahead and get a nice big foot and just sort of do some designing, you know, decorations from here. So I can go ahead, we can search for Bigfoot. And there's all sorts of, you know, Bigfoot designs you can go with. I'm just going to go with this first one here because it's just really easy to work with. And so I'm going to put this Bigfoot right here here-ish because he's going to work well for this particular design that I'm doing. Now I did have somebody ask me recently on one of the Bigfoot videos that I did if they found one that they liked better could they turn it into a silhouette. So let's say I liked the shape of this one better for whatever reason. Yes you could turn this into a silhouette. So let's say I took this and I wanted to use this one as my silhouettes. I could go ahead and go to edit photo now, there is an effect called Duotone, and there it is, it is on the new one too. For a while I was having to go back to the old one. Okay, so go to Duotone, pick whichever one you want, it doesn't matter. It's going to give you two colors. All you're going to do is select white for both colors. And so, boom, there you go, and now I have a silhouette of... Um, that design and so that's one way that you can create a silhouette out of anything i did have a video on this but you know there you go just to answer that person's question and so i'm still gonna stick with this one because it's gonna work better for me but there you go i also wanted to go ahead and uh, put a football helmet on him and so i'm looking for something a little bit solid football helmet and so i just kind of keep scrolling I do like this upright though, so I'm, I'm gonna want one of those. I'll just take that while I find it. So I'm gonna have that sort of be in the distance there a little bit, that sort of upright. So that'll look good there. I'm still looking for my football helmet. There's a football I could use. I did like this helmet right here. I'm gonna go ahead and make that one white. Shrink it down so that it looks like it's gonna go on his head. And then I'm gonna angle it so that it looks like it's gonna go on his head. And what I'm trying to do is get that little face mask look. So something sort of like that. So there it looks like he's wearing a face mask and that's pretty cool. And I can adjust it however I want. I think I wanna pull it back more. If you ever want to line something up and you're like hmm, wondering how it's going to line up with his head, I could always change the color of this really quick. And then I could go ahead and use some of my transparency. And now I can kind of see the way it lines up with his head. And so that's another trick I can do. So if I say, oh, I can make it go a little bit lower and maybe a little bit back on his head and maybe even angle it with his face a little bit better because his face was actually going that way. Once I get it the way I want, I can go ahead, lose the transparency, make that white again. And now I know that it kind of looks like he's wearing it. And so that's kind of cool right there. I'm also going to go ahead and select a football. And again, I'm doing this sort of all white silhouette style. So that's what I'm looking for. But you can, again, always turn anything into a silhouette. I'm gonna go ahead and use this one here. And I'm gonna shrink it way down. Remember, Bigfoot's really big, so 
want to make it kind of almost look like he's kicking it. There we go. And then I think I want to do maybe a trophy. I can have him hold a trophy here too. Let's see what I find. Again, something that's just small, white, something like that might do. Make the trophy look really small. I'm gonna kind of angle it like he's holding it. You know, something like that. So he just sort of looks like he's holding a trophy as he's walking. I mean, so you could do any of those things. Um, lots of different styles that you like. So that looks pretty cool right there. I could get a be better upright, maybe something a little bit thicker since that's really thin. Um, so let's just search football. Let's see if I can find a goal. So I like that goal post a little bit better maybe just because it's a little darker. Oops, yep. I'm still gonna shrink it down and it is gonna be sort of in the background there. And then what I'm thinking is I'm just going to put some like maybe mountains or trees behind him so that, you know, it, it still says Bigfoot, you know, so let's go with mountains. And again, I'm just looking for something silhouette like that. Any of these would work really well for just mountainy kind of looks and making it white. Oops, there we go. And just sort of looking like I've got some mountains in the background or some trees in the background. So something like that might look cool. Maybe even, depends how far in the background I want it to look. Something there. Maybe I put a tree. I don't like that tree. Maybe that tree. That tree looks better. Some little trees. Maybe a few in more of the foreground area so that they look a little bit closer. Maybe something like that. Let me see, let me put pine tree. Lots of different pine trees that I can go with. And so from here, I'm really just playing. I'm just sort of creating a picture. Creating pictures, by the way, like this is so much easier to do when you're doing silhouettes um, because it's just white on black. So they can overlap each other. It doesn't matter which layer is on the top and which layer is on the back because it's just white going over white. So you really can't see any difference. And so it's really easy to just sort of stack elements like this when you're just doing a silhouette style. And so that is just really fun, easy way to do this. And it's giving you a unique design. I suck at fantasy football and we've got our Bigfoot with our football. And so that is just a unique design, real simple, all silhouettes. I'm gonna go ahead and title it up here. I suck at, I suck at fantasy football. And then I'm gonna go ahead and download this. It is a transparent background and it is ready to go. And remember, I've seen this done lots of different ways. So you can be as creative as you want. You can do one with a unicorn. You can do one with a dragon. Uh, you can do one with any sort of, if you wanted to do fantasy creature that you wanted. Um, be creative, put up a lot. Lots of different fantasy football ways to go. And again, a lot of different things that you can put on there. Just make sure that they're not trademarked in any way. Still hope you guys are doing good with your quarter four designs. Um, and if you have any questions or any comments, drop it in the comment section below. I'll try to get back to you as quickly as I can. All right, so take care. That's it for today's video. If you found this useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.